We're very overdue in many tutorials for months now, but we're going to be making a sprint and stamina system. This will be using enhanced input, so if you want to get that set up, uh, you can watch this video. But let's just get started straight away. So first of all, we're going to avoid start sprint and avoid end sprint. And this will be called when you're starting to sprint. And when you're finished sprinting, it's in the name. Next you're going to do a float walk speed and float one speed and above this we're going to put a macro new property add anywhere and category going to be equal to movement it can be named whatever you want it can be named sprint it can be named stamina and that's all we need i'm going to put a comment up here called sprinting to be organized and control dot enter to create these functions and before we do anything we do include game framework and let's have to movement component dot h there we go we're going to get character movement and we're going to get the max walk speed and set it to sprint speed or one speed and when we finish sprinting we can copy paste this with control D and make it walk speed and to call these functions we go back to the header file I'm going to copy paste these input actions name it one speed or one action then inside here once again you can just copy paste it over you don't need to memorize it or retap again, what's the point? I'm going to start sprint. We're also going to do another one. We should also change this to sprint action. Rename this to sprint action, it makes more sense. Sprint action, you can do whatever. And we're going to do stop. But instead of triggered, we're going to do completed. Because when we're finished, we're going to set this to holding it down. And when we finish holding it down, it's completed. So we can just close the editor and compile. And we can open up our player. I'm going to open up the full blueprint editor. And inside the viewport, I just set it as a red cube. Hope you like it, I did that just for you. But, um,. We're going to search up our input now inside the top thing here. Enhance the input, just search the category name. Sprint action we don't have yet, so go into here. Whatever folder you have your input actions in, I'm going to create a new one. Call it if you want, and double click it as the value type should be bool in the triggers it's gonna be down so when we're holding it down it'll be called set that up here inside our input mapping context create a new mapping select your sprint pick a key I'm doing shift We're also going to search up speed and inside here. Walk speed, I'm just going to set as 600, and that's the default. And one speed, I'm going to do 1000. Mess above the values, do whatever you want. And we're at a regular speed, but we hold it down and we're going faster. If you want to make this more clear, you can just pump that number real high. 
And there we go, we're definitely going faster. As printing done, real simple. If that's all you came for, like, subscribe. But this also stand. So first of all, we're gonna create a pool. What B is warning. So if we're warning, we're gonna subtract our stand. So stand, we're gonna do void update stand. We're going to do e property, edit anywhere, category equals movement, whatever you want, and it's going to be float max stamina. Copy paste this again, minimum stamina, or actually current stamina. So this will be 100 and this will be how much stamina we have currently. We also need to put blueprint read only if we want to make it visible as a progress bar or whatever. I'm also going to want to duplicate this. We can get the blueprint stuff and create look the stamina drain time so this is how quickly our stamina will drain once again to pick this for stamina refill time how quickly it will refill and float delay before refill because we don't want it to refill as soon as we stop sprinting we want it to pause for a bit before we start sprinting or before it starts refilling we also going to build the have stamina so if we have stamina we won't be able to warm and we are also going to want to I'm going to put this up here float the current refill delay time it's a weird name to choose but it will do and we're going to create this here and it's going to be called inside our tick function update stamina so before we do anything in stamina we don't want to run if we don't have stamina so we're going to do if b has stamina we're going to run otherwise we don't have stamina we're just going to walk because you're slow and we're also going to run a set b is running equal to true otherwise it's going to be false and there's a problem here and that's if, if you're holding down this print button you'll be running even if you're standing still so your stamina will be draining if you're standing still we don't want them. We're going to if get velocity and we're gonna set this as size so it's a float and not a vector and it's gonna be greater than 0 0.5 so if we are moving at a speed higher than 0 0.5 it'll be warning. We actually don't need this, I'm just gonna delete it and set it here so that when we stop moving it will set as false we don't really need lambda it's more important here and down here since we deleted it here it's gonna be b is one it is false so now we're gonna update uh, to start off we're gonna drain the stamina then we're not moving so if we're running the stamina is gonna minus the stamina drain time so whatever number this is it will subtract it's probably stamina drain amount but I'm just gonna leave it it probably tired of me changing the function names all the time and if we're not running and the current stamina 
is less than max stamina. We don't want to go above. I spell stamina wrong. I always check for typos, but since you got now fixed, you don't want to go above the max stamina. So it won't increase if we're at 100. So we're just going to do current stamina plus equals the stamina you fill time. Once again, it makes more sense when this be called a mind, but if you want to change yourself, you can. But we want to pause before we increase. So we're going to do current refill stamina delay. I'm just going to minus this. Oh, it's current refill delay time. And if in the current refill delay time, is less than or equal to zero then we can refill it so what this does we'll set this as a value i'm going to do that up here so when we drain stamina this can be equal to the refill delay time or delay before refill so let's say this is 10 for example when we're sprinting the current refill delay time will be set as 10 and once we're finished sprinting it will start subtracting 10 9 8 blah 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 and once it hits zero it will start refilling the stamina that's how you do quick timers you don't need to do time to handle event and that stuff else if or else we're going to set stamina true so if we do have more than zero stamina we can sprint there's some games like um Zelda Breath of the Wild where if you want out of stamina you have to wait until it completely refills in order to sprint again if you want to do that you can just do current stamina is equal to max stamina so you can only sprint again once the the stamina bar is entirely refilled but we're not going to do that I'm just gonna leave it. But yeah, this is really simple. If we're gonna go over it all again, and um, when we start sprinting, we check if we have enough stamina, and we set the walk speed to the running speed. And if we're moving, or if we're not stationary, if we are moving at a speed greater than 0.5, we're running. And when we're running, um, it will drain our stamina and set the refill time to a number. And then once we stop running, that number will be subtracted. Once the number hits zero, it will start to refill again. And if we're, if we're out of stamina, we don't have stamina, it will end our sprint. And if we do have something greater than zero, we can sprint again. Once we let go of shift, it will just stop running, set this to false, and we can close this up and compile. And we have some O's, we can double click it. Yep, this one is just a typo, I didn't fix it. Anything else? Nope, that's all. We can also check in the output log if you want a more detailed thing. Uh, if you do get O's, just, just comment in. Or Google it, read it, try to solve yourself. If you could, don't know the issue, just comment it down below. I'll try to find the issue. Compile that again. Hopefully all the typos are fixed. Most of the time if there's an error, it's probably a typo or you forgot something. Build succeeded. And now, we can start sprinting. It won't let me sprint because our values are all messed up. Um, movement I think I called it. Yep. Max down uh, 100. 100. I should have set these in the constructor but it's whatever. Stamina drain time. I don't know what number we should sell as. We're just going to sell as twenty. We can mess up out of it. Stamina refill time. Wanted to refill quicker than it uh, drains. Oh, that's the drain time. Set that as five. Set this as ten, and the refill delay is going to be twenty. Compile that, and we should have sprint. But we don't know how much stamina we have. So look on the speed when making a UI, new folder UI, keep organized. 
user interface at the bottom, widget blueprint, and just click user widget, widget blueprint, underscore, hd, whatever you want to call it, and um, we're just going to drag and drop progress bar, and if we go over to the percent, we can see this is percentage here, we'll just set this as green, green is usually what stammer is, it's kind of thick, so we're just going to make like a bar, alright, so that's our progress bar, we're going to bind it, by clicking bind, quit binding, and get stamina, spell it right this time, going to cast to bp player, or whatever you called it, and get the player pawn, and we're going to get the current stamina, this is why we did blueprint read only, and get max stamina, and guess what, we're going to have to do math, I'm sure you're terrified of it, haven't done any since school, or you're still in school. And you're probably gonna leave if you're terrified of math, but you just need to divide it. Just divide the current stamina with the max stamina, and that's why I do percentage. Now in the player blueprint, we're going to get a widget of class. No, that's not it. Oh, it's just create a widget. So it's called create widget. We're gonna select our widget. And we're going to drag off the blue, add the viewport, compile, press play. And it's covering the entire thing because I forgot. Give it canvas. Canvas panel. I'm gonna control X. You cut it and paste it here. Just make this a bit bigger, just so we can see. Do whatever you want. I'm in a hurry here. Oh, in the binding, make sure you set it. Just whatever you named it. So now it's a hundred, and it goes down instantly. We don't want it to go down instantly. So we're searching stamina, uh, drain time, setting this one, increases by two. Yep. And once we're out of stamina, it will just stop sprinting and it will increase. We want to make the delay time a bit bigger. Stamina. I'm going to do the refill time 1.5, this one 0.5. Movement. Play before refill. Okay. And you can see it pauses before trying to refill. And we can't spam it because it will just pause. And that's it. It's Pretty simple, and uh, this was kind of overdue. I'll try to have a better schedule of like um, more tutorials. Yeah.